Topic under discussion today is the synthesis of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Question is that how the hydrochloric acid is synthesized and today's discussion we will clear this particular question and you guys will know the concept in a very simple and easy way. So let's get started with a very simple concept. We know this point very well that uh, there is a certain type of cell named a parietal cell. Okay. Now all these parietal cells are actually responsible to synthesize the hydrochloric acid. Where is the cell? In the stomach. Okay. So now one of the cells is actually zoomed here. This is one of those parietal cells. Now in this parietal cells, what is happening? That is supposed to be remembered. Okay. Now I will make you people understand in a very simple and easy way. Just concentrate this diagram. Consider that here is the blood vessel supply to this particular organ that is stomach. So here we have parietal cells. This is blood supply and this internal structure is named as lumen. So remember three important uh, parts, blood vessels, parietal cells and lumen. Now these three are the very basic regions that you people are supposed to remember because from these three uh, regions, these three points, you will get the concept of hydrochloric acid uh, in a very simple and easy way. That's how this hydrochloric acid is actually synthesized. Very simple. Now just to zoom this particular structure here. Here you got the blood vessel and here is parietal cell and here is the lumen. Okay. Blood vessel, parietal cell and lumen. Now what is happening here while synthesizing HCl, this blood vessel is providing the carbon dioxide gas. Now this carbon dioxide gas will move into the parietal cells by mean of diffusion. Now, by means of diffusion, carbon dioxide is it moves inside the parietal cell. Here, water and carbon dioxide they will interact. Now, this water is available in the cell, okay, already available. Now, this already available water plus carbon dioxide will interact and they will synthesize a newly uh, weak acid that is named as carbonic acid. We know this very well. We're learning this point since the very first of chemistry. Well, coming to the point. Now this carbonic acid is weak acid. This will split into two that is H plus ion and bicarbonate ion. Now these two will find certain transporters to move out from parietal cells. Got very simple. Carbon dioxide from the blood will come into the parietal cells. Here water will interact with the carbon dioxide gas and they will synthesize weak acid carbonic acid. This will split the name indicates it is weak okay so this will split into h plus and bicarbonate ion now these both the ions are responsible to move out from the parietal cells so they will be moved by the help of the transporters named as antiport transporters number one number two now this is bicarbonate chloride antiport transporter and h plus ion k plus ion what antiport transporter now these two antiport transporters will help in the movement of these two particular substances like here bicarbonate will move towards the blood vessel by means of this transporter and this transporter will help transporting chloride from the blood into the parietal cells got from the parietal cells bicarbonate is moving towards the blood vessel and from the blood vessels chloride is moving into the parietal cells very simple now Let's come towards the H plus proton. Now this H plus will move towards the lumen. Here is the lumen, okay? To the lumen and K plus will move into the parietal cells. So what we got? Very simple. Water, carbon dioxide synthesized the carbonic acid which split into H plus ion and bicarbonate ions. Now these ions are supposed to move out from the parietal cells. They will take the help of the antiport transporter. Those antiport transporter, they are named antiport for what? For simple reason that is they are transporting anti means against so this bicarbonate carbonate will be transported against the chloride and this hydrogen will be transported against the potassium so this is available just before the lumen and it is available with the blood vessel so that's why these two antiport are actually uh, going to have their interaction here with the blood and here with the lumen so from the blood it will take chloride into the parietal cells and bicarbonate will be moved towards the blood and this transporter will help transporting H plus towards the lumen and K plus towards the parietal cells. So now what we got at the end, very simple, we got two things, K plus and Cl negative. Now these two, K plus and Cl negative, these two will find symport transporter, such kind of transporter which will help moving these two in the same direction. So now here we have towards the lumen this import transporter by means of which 
potassium and chloride will move into the lumen so here we got potassium chloride and another potassium plus what hydrogen ion and now what we need for the hydrochloric acid synthesis very simple we need h plus and cl negative these both will interact they will synthesize hcl very simple this is how hydrochloric is synthesized hope you got